and the experience. Thank you to Larson Fund, our broadcast sponsor, yeah, Idaho's finest alfalfa. I'm Louisa Barton. And uh, in studio with me, Paulette Stout, my co-host, <laughs> and I also have Yvonne Barteau from Horses Without Humans with us also. And uh, we've had Yvonne with us on the show before. She's uh, She's been a wonderful guest in the past. We've enjoyed having her. She shared with us uh, the Boneyard Horses story, which is uh, absolutely wonderful. I got a chance to go out to the farm a couple of weeks ago and visit those horses. We've got those photos to share with you. Uh, if you're joining us on Facebook, you'll be able to see uh, how absolutely wonderful uh, that visit was and, uh, and and just how amazing uh, of a job you've done with those 19 horses. Uh, can you give us an update? They're good. I mean, they're really good. The horses are doing well, and we brought Rain for her first trip off property. You met Rain yes. when you were out there, and she was one of the worst when we were at the beginning, and now she made a, uh, two field trips. Uh, she went to the Fort White Feed, who's been so great about helping us out. We went brought to Ellie Ray's bar, and she went there and was hanging out by the water with the owners of the of the property. And then uh, we took her into the town of Bell as well. And so she is, uh, th there's not much to worry about those horses anymore. So we have to think about what's next, you know, what we need to do. And we're actually starting a training program with all of them everything rain is probably the last that we'll start i'll start with some round pen work with her and some join up and uh, you know ground control shoulder work and this and that but everything else is going to you know get going eddie of course he's just going to learn to be a little charmer and he's going to probably sit in the coach and watch he is a little charmer isn't he yeah he's a funny guy he's super cool so are we talking about the holiday show so yes we, we've got to talk about this paulette you um you've got those so you can hold them up uh, tell us what to expect well, uh, December uh, 6th through the 8th, we're going to be at Canterbury, or formerly Canterbury, to Al Alachua Showgrounds now, and there it is on the screen. And that's Poppy, one of the stars of the show. Um, I'm the Snow Queen. He's my Snow Queen mount. It is beautiful a beautiful dress. He is cool. I have a different beautiful dress, horse. actually. Yeah, he's a beautiful horse. He is a showstopper, that guy. We actually brought him last week to Canterbury to do a little uh, dry run through, not costuming, of course, but he's he is such a star. We brought Eddie there as well. Uh, the show will benefit the horses without humans. Uh, hopefully, help with our feed bill for the next season. Everybody is donating their time. Everybody is donating their um, actually their their talents and their time. And we've got a great cast. We've got Michael Gascon. We've got Kirsten Maine. I've got uh, Cassie and Hootie, my daughters, in there. We've got you showing up, and you both yes. in the ballroom scene. Yeah, we brought yep. you in. So um, that's my daughter Hootie um, on the screen right there, and Gorgeous. that um, she will have a rescue horse that she's riding as a guardian angel this year. So we are going to intersperse uh, some of the rescue horses in the show, and so that will be great. We'll have some there on site for people to visit. There are VIP and sponsorships available. There's general seating. It's available now on horseswithouthumans.org. So you can buy your tickets now before they're gone. You can um, buy VIP tables, and you can contact me about sponsorship or vendor opportunities. So we do want to make it a benefit of the season, and uh, I think it's going to be that with uh, the people and the horses that we've got in. It's going to be super fun. It's absolutely so, wonderful. So there'll be vendors there? What types of vendors? That, those monies will go towards the horses for them. Yes, I mean, the, the vendor money will go towards it, and um, I do think that we have a number of vendors in. We're, we're open for a few more. We will have food. We will have a concession. We will have also a silent auction that will be open to the sponsors and the VIP. Uh, because we're, it, the place will house about 3,000 people, and so barn tours also will be available. So it's going to be, um, it's going to be fun. It's a magical, magical time. I mean, I love the Christmas show. I love Christmas. I love the holidays, but I do love this this show. You will. It's going to be incredible. It's exciting. And it's we've got a, uh, we've got a, a lot of vendors because it's Christmas time. We're we've got a horse of the week here uh, as well to talk about. Silver is our uh, adoptable horse of the week. Ten-year-old thoroughbred. Wonderful addition to your training program, right? Yes. Uh, clips, ties, and stands for the farrier. A great mind, super athletic build, three nice gates with both canter leads, and um, is started over fences and cross country jumps. Started with a solid groundwork foundation as well as consistent low level dressage training. Solid candidate on trail rides, super flashy eventer. Won first place in his first show off property in July can be ridden on a team for fox hunting as well. Super fun horse, would excel as a hunter jumper or eventing project for an intermediate young rider or intermediate amateur adult and will make his next human very happy. 
So it would be nice if Rick Wallace and um, Briggs Surratt were still here because they were inventors. They had to go to the barn, but that would have been super cool if they could have got a chance to. Hopefully, um, he's still Me watching. Too. Yeah, he's a he's a good horse, and he's ready for. He could suit a young rider, and he, he could should suit compete at the Alcala Jockey Club. He the could. Club. Yeah, he's, uh, he's just been to 100 pace. He did really well with one of my working students there, and Jen has been schooling him pretty diligently since then. And he, he actually came from another rescue that was more of a non-riding rescue, so he came in um, at, at an age where he really needed to get to work and get going, and so that's kind of what he's doing now. And he does well in a pasture situation, he does well with other horses, and he also does well if he's in another stall. So yeah, I would say it. that's a good one. He's cool. Rick, if you're listening, you probably know somebody that uh, could do a lot with this horse and be pretty fantastic. So, anyway, make sure you get your tickets for Spirit of the Horse. So now, um, you got to forgive me. Okay? Okay. you got to forgive me? Yeah, you got to forgive me. So, um, we have something for you that we're going to put up here on the screen. Um, we were very sad to hear about Bota. Oh, Bota. Yeah, yes. yeah. Um, very sadly, um, last week, I think, the Reprisian Stallion, um, passed away, mm -hmm. and I was heartbroken to hear that. So we we have something to share with you and a little tribute um, that Joe's going to put up for you. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. 